position to be successful and I think we did a good job of executing, finding holes in the block and then just attacking. Um, we're doing a really good job of attacking what's given to us, um, not trying for something that we're working on maybe in practice, but what's given to us, go execute and next play. We did a really good job and credits to our setter and our passers to get us that ball. With Selection Sunday being a couple of days away, you, are you happy where your team is at in terms of progression? Are you kind of peaking at the right time? Yeah, we're definitely peaking at the right time. I think our mental um, stability and our capacity is getting to be the best that it can possibly. I think we're doing a really good job of being the best people and the best athletes we can be right now at the end of the season. Um, we have a few more goals we want to reach, obviously, before Selection Sunday. Um, we're looking forward to trying to get to those goals as fast as possible. And with Amber Olsen starting every game this season, how important do you feel she is to the team? Yeah, she's the bread and butter of this team. She's our quarterback. Uh, without her, we don't run the offense that we do, and to have her for the last five years on the court, um, it's helped me click with her, and it's helped like a big, huge group of us be able to strive and be successful with her um, delivering us the ball every, every point. What went through your mind pre-match there when you're walking with the family there uh, on the court? What was that like? Yeah, um, they're my biggest supporters. I've always said that, and I always will. Um, they've come to almost every single game that they can. Um, and they're always there. They're always in the stands. They're always cheering. And you can't ask for more. Um, I think to be, to be able to look up and say, hey, my family supported me, that's really cool. Um, it's a big part of why I am who I am. And I think that's really great. You reached the milestone tonight, two milestones. You got to 2,500 career kills, 10th player ever in Division I volleyball history. And you got to 1,600 digs in a career, fourth night to ever do that. Uh, not bad for a libero. You were recruited as a libero, right? You got libero production. Yes, I was. Um, but it's great. It means that people are doing the right thing. People are doing the right steps to make sure that I'm getting the digs needed. I, our block's in a good spot. We're making good swings. Um, we're delivering good balls, and none of those awards come without six other people, 16 other people touching the ball or being a part of our program. You take pride on your defense. I mean, I know you've told me in the past you love the blocks mm -hmm. is your favorite play. Just speak to the defensive pride, because a lot of offensive players would just focus on offense, but you focus on all aspects of the game. Yeah, I think it's important to focus on all aspects. I think we've talked really big this year at compartmentalizing what parts of your game do you have. So I think as an outside hitter, you have hitting and you have blocking, but you also have defense, you also have serve receive, you also have serving, and those are big parts of our game, and that's something that we like to do. So if something might not be going well, say my hitting's not going well, well I still have my passing and my serve receive and my blocking to come back to and that's something that I can rely on and I know that I can be strong in. Well you've spoken about the quote elephant in the room. I think we could finally talk about the elephant in the room obviously on Friday. Yeah. Houston, what makes them so good? Obviously I challenge them. They're a great team. You're a great team. This is a great uh, setup for the match here on Friday for volleyball fans. Yeah, I think it's very obvious that their libero is one of the best in the nation. Um, she's getting the stats. She's getting the awards that she needs. Um, that's their bread and butter is right there is, is in their libero. And I think that's a really good thing for us. And I think that's something that's going to challenge us too. Um, but we're up for the challenge. We're really looking forward to it. Do you feeling your team right now is fresh, peaking at the right time? you like where you're at? Yeah, I love where we're peaking. Um, this is the time where we push, we give everything we have. Um, and this is the mental part of our game. You know, our legs aren't as fresh as they used to be back in August. Um, we didn't used to be, maybe we're not jumping as high. So we have to use our brains. And I think that's something that we've been training all year is to use our brains. So I'm very happy of how smart we're being and where we are in the game. Perfect. Thank you.